Hi, I'm Rick Halsey, and today we're going to go on a nature walk. One of the prettiest flowers in the chaparral in the spring is monkey flower. It's called sticky monkey flower because if you put your fingers on it, it, it sticks. This is a very spooky sycamore tree with a very spooky face. The important thing here is this is a dead tree and a lot of people think maybe dead trees don't have much of a, a purpose in nature, but this provides a lot of habitat for birds, and insects. They love the dead material. It's a Phasalia, but it's called something Phasalia. And four, four syllables. Starts with a C. Don't say anything. Okay, ready? Touch it. Oh, um, I know already. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got it. Am I allowed to say it? Not yet. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Now, can you, can you, one, two, three, four, five. Can you five people, can you say all together, on the count of three, what kind of phasalia this is? It's named after that animal. Ready? One. Now I haven't told them. No, I haven't told them. One, two, three. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. Is that cool or what? Yeah. See? Here we have two more really beautiful wildflowers that you see in the chaparral. Caterpillar phasalia, which actually looks like little caterpillars. And then we have Clarkia, which has some really, really beautiful little petals that come out of the central part of the flower. This is a really cool vine-like penstemon, and the hummingbirds love it because they can stick their little beaks in there and pull out as much nectar as they can ever imagine. This is chaparral honeysuckle. The hummingbirds like this also. A lot of people focus on plants and animals on a nature trail, but some of the coolest stuff is actually the rocks. This is a metamorphic rock. It's nice, and it's pretty nice nice. It used to be granite deep underground a long time ago. It got squeezed and squashed, and it metamorphized into this nice, which is pretty nice. This is purple nightshade in the nightshade family, of course. A lot of the nightshades are pretty poisonous, hence the name nightshade. So one of the things that's really special about a nature walk in the wild is just to sit for a while and listen to the sounds. 